Just a week into his new position, Speaker Mike Johnson leads a House dealing with a number of important issues. That includes several wars overseas. Today, KSLA News 12 Stephen Maxwell spoke with U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy about those issues. Would you advise Johnson to merge the funds together or do you think they should keep them separate? As a good speaker, he has to figure out where his conference is. It isn't Mike Johnson by himself. It's Mike Johnson, the leader of the House of Representatives. And so, and in particular, the Republican members of the House of Representatives. So he's got to go back and have a conversation with his members, not get too far ahead of them, uh, make sure that whatever he decides, he gets a majority of them to support uh, and, and kind of help educate McConnell. Spe uh, Leader McConnell, this is what I can get. I can't go any further than that. Uh, so that's part of the process of being a speaker. And I smile. That's why Mike Johnson will have a lot more gray hair in one year than he has right now. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin testified at a Senate Appropriations Committee hearing on Tuesday. They urged lawmakers to pass the Biden administration's $105 billion national security funding request, which includes funding for Israel and Ukraine's war efforts.